Hi, my name is Audrey and I'm a league cycling instructor, also known as an LCI, which means that I've been trained to teach kids and adults all about bicycle safety. I think it's really important for kids to walk and bike as much as they possibly can to and from school. It's a great way to exercise and it's also really good for Mother Earth. It reduces pollution and it also reduces traffic. Today I'm going to be teaching you all about pedestrian safety. Step one, find a safe place to cross. That means find a place where you can see clearly in both directions. Do not cross where your view is blocked. Things like hills or curves or parked cars or even trees can prevent other drivers from seeing you. Ideally, you want to locate a crosswalk with a stop sign or a street light. Wait for the signal. It's safer to cross at an intersection than it is to cross at the middle of a block. So always look for a marked crosswalk for that intersection. If there is no painted crosswalk, then you must cross at the corner of whatever sidewalk you are walking on. Step two, stop at the edge of the road. So you can look both ways for traffic before walking. Step three, look and listen for traffic and pedestrian signs. The red hand means wait. The white symbol of a person walking means you can cross with caution. Numbers counting down tells you how much time you have left to cross. When you see the walking symbol in the direction that you are trying to walk, then you can cross with safety. Look left first always because that's where traffic is closest to you. Then look to the right to see if there's any traffic coming from the other side of the road and look left again. Don't forget to listen. Listen for a car engine or a siren or a horn. Always pay attention and don't get distracted. Stay off your cell phone as much as possible and make eye contact with drivers. Step four. Be extra cautious in bad weather or at night. Wear bright colors and reflectors. Step five, be a role model for younger kids. Remember to lead by example. If you show others how to do things safely, they will likely follow you. So those were the five tips on pedestrian safety. If you follow those tips, you'll be a pro in no time. For more information on bicycle and pedestrian safety, check out our website at walkmorebikemore.org. Thank you for your time. Be safe out there. Be healthy. Thank you.